Year One Diesel. My name is Matt. Today we're going to be doing some experiments cooking with diesel. So today for our first cooking with diesel experiment, uh, I've took the Jeep out to the lake. I've got a, a new toy. I've got a 1000 watt Best Tech Pure Sine Wave um, inverter that I just bought from Amazon. Um, I'm pretty excited about it because it's a really nice compact unit and it's got it has a, a set of alligator clips to connect right to the battery. And so I've brought along with me a uh, coffee pot. I'm going to try to brew uh, four cups of coffee, uh, see how long that takes, um, using nothing but the output of the uh, alternator on the Jeep. Um, I have the upgraded electrical system on my diesel uh, JL Wrangler Unlimited, uh, so the alternator is capable of putting out 240 amps. Uh, the best tech inverter should only need about 100 amps. Uh, it has uh, uh, clamp cables uh, built in. Um, yeah, so it should be uh, easy to set up and go, plug in and uh, run the coffee pot. The coffee pot is about 900 watts. Um, we'll, see how, uh, we'll see how the inverter does and see how long it takes to make a couple cups of coffee. So this is my best tech 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. I have connected to my 2020 Jeep uh, Unlimited, Jeep Wrangler Unlimited diesel. Um, and what I'm going to uh, attempt to do here, uh, I'm, out, I'm out at the lake. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to make some coffee. So I've got a little coffee pot here that, that uses almost exactly a thousand watts. You can see the voltage is holding steady on the input at 13.8 and uh, the output is uh, about 900 watts right now. And this is just a normal uh, Black & Decker coffee pot. It's an old one I had laying around the uh, electronics and it had, had died some time ago so it just has a, uh, a manual switch on it. Um, but it's otherwise it's just like a n normal stock Black & Decker uh, uh, coffee pot. See that it's uh, it's brewing already. It's operating like like normal. I have a good connection with the cables. Uh, uh, this unit comes with these clip-on um, clamps. Uh, they seem to be adequately sized and the cables are not getting warm. The connections uh, seem to be not getting warm. Uh, the vehicle seems uh, happy, uh, putting out a continuous uh, 900 watts on the inverter. Um, no issues here, it's not complaining about anything.
So the coffee pot is just finishing up its cycle, and I can uh, I can hear the uh, the circuit opening and closing in it as the uh, as uh, as the heating element turns off. Uh, that was quite successful. I'm very happy with that. So I'm really happy with the results of the inverter. It worked really well. Um, I'm looking forward to using it if I've got a power outage at home to you know keep the lights on or the refrigerator if I don't want to drag out the big generator. I think it'll be perfectly adequate for, for small stuff like that. Um, in the future, maybe I'll try uh, something a little a little heavier load like an electric frying pan or something and see if that uh, see if the inverter can keep up with that. So it took about five minutes to brew four cups of coffee um, and it didn't seem to bother the Jeep at all. It was really easy to set up. Um, you know, just quickly clamp on the cables to the battery, turn on the inverter, plug in the coffee pot, put some water in it, and you're done. Um, and, you know, five minutes later, uh, hot coffee uh, without really any effort is as convenient as doing it in your kitchen. Now, certainly, there are way more efficient ways to use diesel to heat water. Um, and maybe we'll try some other experiments and see what we can do um, that doesn't involve uh, complicated electronics and inverters. Um, but this was a lot of fun. I had, uh, I had a good time um, trying this out, and I'm really happy with my, uh, my inverter.